we are talking about how to use robot to deliver medical care. So we, we know the medical care is very important, right? We all sometimes get sick. So, but most of the cases is that once we get sick or we need a medical attention, we go to the doctor, okay? So that is the, 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 the common practice, okay? Then the care actually consists of the two aspect, diagnostic and the treatment. The important thing is how to use this robot. We can r deliver this kind of care to the patient, okay? So then the, one of the important technologies, the, the information technology, right? Because the network, the information technology, which can connect patient, right, with the doctor through the network. The bottom line is combining the robot with the internet, with overcome the difficulty created by the distance, right? Then basically people can, can do things in the remote lo location. If we can develop some kind, of, and also, this also depends on the experience. Even for the medical doctor, even also depends on the experience. Some of them, is the less experience, may not be able to detect the tumor, right? So then the problem is, can we use, can we develop some robotics technology, right? So we can kind of do this kind of thing remotely. Then the tactile sensor is, is a kind of very unique kind of de de design. It's an optical sen sensor, right? So, so the idea is that you have a, like those kind of optical waveguide. Then the waveguide, because you coded a special material on the surface, then when you send the light from the one end, because the, the, the different reflect index, then the light will stay inside of this waveguide, okay? But once this waveguide touch with some object, then you change the reflection index on that part, right? Then the light get leaked out from the back. Then the next thing is to talk about the, how to solve the communication problem, right? So now you get tactile information, you get a video, right? You talk to the patient, and also you get the, like audio. So you, how to synchronize them? Whatever you feel, whatever you see, it will, should be the same thing. And ultrasound is some kind of fuzzy, right? They, you need experience to, to read the ultrasound image. For the most of the people, that means not, nothing. You cannot tell, right? But the haptic measurement, you can clearly see multiple peaks, right? Then you can render those things. Currently, we are doing the clinical trial for this device for one application. It's a post-surgery monitoring. So this is a very important application. But this kind of device, patient can periodically put on the cut. Then not just the measure the, 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 the shape, the, 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 it's a hardness, softness, because of the infection, the, the tissue became hard also measure the temperature, right? The inf infection, the tissue temperature will incre increase. Then in the doctor's office, we automatically receive those information. If something wrong, the doctor is going to call you.